Hello YouTube and welcome back to Ground Forks Place KSP and in the previous episode we got stranded on the moon and as you can see here this is our lander and it got stranded right on the corner of this crater or right at the edge of the crater and this is the one that we will be rescuing today so let's first go around and let's build a lander that will be the rescue lander so this guy obviously didn't have enough delta v to get to moon and back so we will be building a new one from scratch and i'm gonna use the one that uh, has three spots but i will only have one pilot to go there and that will probably be valentina so for your pleasure i'm showing this at roughly two times times acceleration of uh, in terms of building and some more in terms of um, yeah lander built for rescuing stranded kerbals yes let's put some illuminators we want to see where we and when we're landing good then uh, let's see i want to be finding ourselves not the service module not that i want to find some decent cargo bay well that works thermal wise i want to have a heat shield yes I'm going to take actually a bigger one, because I don't think this pomegranate is actually made for, yeah, decoupler. There we go. Wonderful. Let's fill in the cargo bay. Science component, yes, for rescuing science. It does protrude a little bit, but I think it will be fine overall. Let's see the batteries. I think three or four should do it. Four, yeah. Place them, close up, that's good enough. Then we want to be talking about adapters, yes. A big enough adapter for a big enough tank. So I'm definitely going overboard when it comes to Delta V on this one. We put four pieces here, and then uh, 2560 meters per second delta V. Good enough. I want to be running another decoupler. Some solar panels, yes. A reaction wheel, yeah, that might actually be handy. Good. After all, we will need the, the ability to turn. And let's take a look. Uh, landing legs. Yes, we need landing legs. You fold up. I think that should be enough to land and get us back. 2,000, you know, 600, that should be good enough. Then let's put some big tanks. Yes. And I'm not gonna even fuss about it, I'm just placing a mainsail, 1.38, that's good enough given the fact that we will have additional boosters to help it go up. Now let's see, what do we have for boosters? First, decouplers, yes, I'm gonna place four probably. I'm gonna place these guys. I actually like their design, to be honest. Alright, so then let's place some more tanks on top of them. Something like that. I think that should be good enough. And I want to have asparagus staging, of course. Or shall we go with just the onion? Ah, maybe actually onion would be good enough. Mm, nah, I'm just thinking out loud. Yeah, let's go with asparagus rather. And we'll just connect them downstairs. Yes, you. 
I mean, asparagus gives me better distribution of uh, thrust weight and delta V and everything, so I prefer asparagus when I can. The only reason why not to put uh, asparagus is if you're lazy, you know, setting the stages, but I'm not, so... Alright. This and this. You two will be firing simultaneously, which means... Yeah, you four will fire simultaneously with this one. Check your stage in. And you would fire with this. I'd say that's about right. I mean, the reading 4102 doesn't sound right in my head for the Delta V, but that's okay. I've learned not to trust the viewing too much. Okay, Valentina as a pilot, save and let's launch it. Three, two, one, and thrust to maximum. Oh, first lights, yes, of course. Okay, oh, check your staging, of course. And hit it. We have liftoff and our thrust to weight is significant, over two. So let's angle slightly, maneuver or prograde eastwards. I have a little bit higher thrust to weight, but no matter. It will just make sure that we go faster on the initial ascent, and that's fine. We're already supersonic, which is great. 600 meters per second, almost passing Mach 2. First boosters detach. Switching to the Navi orbital navigation view. Hard to the right and uh, or hard orbit prograde. And now we will be just thrusting into the orbital direction till we get to, onto the apoapsis of roughly 100. That's good enough. And then we circularize. So yeah, pretty much business as usual so far. We had so many flights not so long ago we were striving towards the orbit and now it's practically become a routine. Yes. Uh, the good side, we have 2998 delta V, which is nice, but I think it will be actually a lot more once we dump these two. So no worries, I'm not overly concerned. I think the Delta V display is lying a little bit to me. It doesn't account for asparagus staging, I'd say. Alright, we have an 1325 meters per second burn that's about to happen in some 20 ish seconds. Turning maneuver prograde. Valentina, she's just, yeah, she's overjoyed. Hit it. And stage. Perfect. Everything seems to be going fine. And as you can see, now my delta V is correct. 5400. And we are almost orbital. So if that's not enough to land on the moon, rescue Jeb and Bob and come back, then I don't know what is. Almost there, and... There we go. It's circularized. It's not perfect, but neither am I, so I don't care. Now, Time to go to the moon, set as target, and let's set up a burn. By the way, guys, I get a lot of questions. How do you know when to burn to the moon? I don't, but I roughly eyeball it at, uh, I start burning at the position where I think the moon will show up on the horizon. So that's how I judge it and then just figure it out. So as long as you know we have come and moon shows up on the horizon, that's roughly a place where you want to be burning. In case you don't have patch conics and stuff. Or maneuver nodes, yeah. Okay, so fiddling a little bit with the maneuver node till we get it right.
node in two minutes. Need to point maneuver prograde. We still have small reaction wheels and we will of course need bigger ones. But for the time being these will work. Getting ready to the burn and probably at the moment where we start burning you should see moon rising up on the horizon roughly. Hitting the burn. It's a beautiful sight. Val, I hope you're enjoying. 200 meters per second to burn. And there we go. Oops, I think I overdid it a little. No matter. As you can see, moon is already up in the sky. So I think if we angle, we should... Ah, there's moon rising sea. So that's the approximate location where you want to be burning, more or less. Let's kick the time acceleration and enjoy as Val leaves Kerbin. I'm just trying to ensure a smooth transition as ever, but as always, I fail miserably at it, so that's fine. Beautiful picture. And there's Moon, so let's orient towards it and let's go. We need to rescue Bill or Jab and Bob. Bill was smart enough not to hook up on that trip. All right. Well, at the periapsis, we will be performing an orbital insertion. There we go. Oh, maybe even go directly for the landing. Well, that's not a terrible idea, I'd say. 393 meters per second. I think we're good. I think our budget is way overboard in this case. Let's warp until here. Time warp complete. And now we shall be pointing a maneuver prograde and getting ourselves ready for the burn. Oh, look at moon. It's so beautiful. No than three minutes. And time ac accelerating until our burn. And we shall be burning in three, two, one, hit it. Oops. Well, this was fun. <laughs> Interesting. Well, clearly there's some glitch in the system, or maybe Valentina is just in the Matrix and this is all a vivid dream. Well, time shall tell, I guess. Now, let's see. Uh, what do we got? All right, coming close to the craft. Oh, there it is. Look at it. And for some reason, I cannot see my craft. Oh, there it is. All right. So I think we should be now looking how to decelerate. Add maneuver and something like that. Node in five, four, three, two, one, and I should be kicking the gas rather shortly and abruptly. There we go. And now we're rotating. We have additional 689 meters per second 
that should be enough to actually stop us dead in the tracks so that we can land. And I'm eyeballing that it would take around, uh, around 1,500 to get back to Kerbin, so I do want to be using the fuel sparingly. So now have, we have taken compared to target and we're just trying to decelerate. This is almost like docking guys and for those of you that I have requested that I build a space station this is a very similar way how you do docking except this docking is supposed to happen on surface. I'm burning to align the yellow retrograde marker onto the pink marker. As you see when the burns I'm slowly pushing the target retrograde marker. So when I land, I should in theory be landing quite close to the actual target. See? Those two are almost aligned. And we are going at 270 uh, meters per second and we have roughly 270 meters per second in our big fuel tank, which we're going to use to slow ourselves down, of course. I just want to burn a little bit lower in the orbit or a little bit lower altitude because I don't want to waste too much fuel for landing so see yeah I'm pushing so that we are sort of aligned and now I will burn directly retrograde oh and we're coming down hard yep let's ditch the, the how do you call it? The transfer stage. Set down the landing legs. I'm coming down and these thrusters should be good enough and BAM! We have a eeny weeny explosion. I think we will be landing close enough. Now I want the surface because I want to be landing without any bouncy action reducing the velocity down to roughly five meters per second. That's my kind of go-to landing, but nine should work as well. Come on, uh, reducing, easy, 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 not too fast to hover. I don't want to be hover and there we go. Oopsie, come on, come on, come on. Stay. Don't, 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 don't. Perfect landing, like a pro. Valentina, I'd say you're the man, but you're the woman. Fantastic. Valentina has landed us and as you can see we have successfully landed very near to our guys who are stranded. So we are retracting the solar panels and I have opened the science bay. Just crew report. And let's get back to Jebediah and Bob. Guys, Valentina has come here to pick you up. So you might as well want to collect some science experiments. Yes, thank you. Lock pressure, yes. Lock temperature, don't mind if you do. Mystery goo, yep. Materials bay, definitely. Collect all data. All right. So, Bob Kerman. I want you to reset these. Well, technically you don't need to reset them. We already have them, so that's fine. And let's fly over to Valentina's ship, the rescue lander. There you go. As you might have noticed, this is all happening in roughly one and a half times times acceleration. So, okay, climb. Oh, right, I forgot to pick up the science. Well, I guess Jeb will have to pick up the science. That's fine. I'm definitely not going to go back to grab the science. So, yeah, you feel a little silly. I, I get you, Bob. Don't get me wrong. Okay, come down. We're definitely going to take a selfie. And come on, don't faff around too much, please, will you? Find a good selfie spot. Perfect. Amazing. Looks good. Jeb, 
time for you to EVA. We will leave this ship as a monument to the Kerbal ingenuity on the moon. I mean, after all, you always forget, or forget, you always remember your firsts. So, RCS, and let's fly over there. Here we go, there's Bob. Let's just store the experiments, please. Come on. Get up, get up, get up. Climb, climb, climb. Yeah, there we go. Store experiments. Good. That's better. Okay, Jeb, get over for the selfie. So, Jeb and Bob are ready for the selfie. Time to take Valentina. Come on, where are you, Val? Here you go. The lady of the hour. Thrusters, and let's get over there. Thank you. Oh, a little bit there, a little bit there. Perfect. And screenshot. Oh, yeah. You're washing your hands or what? Too much space dust? Okay. Selfie? Yeah, look at that. Oh, that was epic. Okay, Valentina. Time to get back up and time to fly our boys back home safely. So, do you mind? I'm sure you don't. So, uh, come on, where is the... This pomegranate actually is, for me, it's actually hard to figure out where I should be having it. Close the cargo bay. Okay, let's go. Bob. There we go. Grab. Not climb. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. Good thing you landed on your top of your head. Come on, thrust it up, thrust it up, you can do it. Okay, and board. Thank you. That leaves Jeb. Jeb, buddy, I need you to get up and then we are going back home. Yeah, you deserve some snacks after all. Now, board. Thank you. All right, well, what do you say we take this bad boy and we go home? Might as well do a quick save. Extends the solar panels. After all, I mean, it's safer that way. All right, and we will be burning eastwards. So, hit it and... Yep. Pick up the landing gear. Our apoapsis is already at 20. That should be enough. Add a maneuver node, then we circularize. That should be more than enough. So 330. I have no idea how much I have uh, remaining delta V, but I'll check that afterwards. There we go, going all the way up to the apoapsis. Maneuver prograde, 330 meters per second to burn. Not a whole lot. Just to recap, we had a 2.6 thousand uh, delta V when we were landing, so we should be good. Alright, and time to go back to Kerbin. Alright, now let's find an approach. Oh, Periapsis 389, that's good. It's 199, and then just tweak it until we get around 20-ish. 
No, 16 is a little. 24. 25. Yeah, good enough. 273. So roughly for the return you need around 8 to 900 Delta V. Let's warp. I wonder how much science we will be getting. Nine seconds to burn and let's see. Kicking the gas. There we go few more let's see our periapsis is 28 on the carbon that's good down to 25 I think it's good perfect a nice screeny as the our our crowd is leaving moon so goodbye moon and thanks for the science Oh, this is a beautiful shot. Gorgeous, isn't it? All right, let's proceed on our merry way to Kerbin. Find the Kerbin, awesome. Rotate to get a very nice angle, you know. Yeah, look at Val, she is ecstatic. She is bringing her boys home. All right. Coming ever so closer. All right, I think it would be time at this altitude to point the orbit retrograde, fold up the panels, and we have roughly, as you can see, 1500. So we spent around 1000 delta V, as I told you. That's about right. So when we start getting towards the atmosphere, I'm just going to hit very hard on the fuel burn to decelerate as much as possible and consume the rest of the fuel. Oh, look at that beautiful glow at the end of Kerman. Okay, and we are getting some heating effects. Let's hit more to decelerate as much as possible. There we go. Detaching. You're no longer of any use to me, so... Going down. Everybody's happy that they're returning home, especially Valentina. I'm gonna put this actually in the separate... Uh, in the separate stage. Going ever so slowly downwards. We are already prepared to, you know, jump the chute or actually, you know, hit the chutes, but uh, we are waiting until we come a little bit lower. Okay, surface retrograde, hitting the chutes.
And soon enough we will be going for the landing. Jettisoning the heat shield. I get asked why do I jettison the heat shield? I don't know. I do it just for the heck of it. To be perfectly honest with you. 50 meters and slowly coming down and perfect. We have landed ladies and gentlemen and let's just retrieve the science after which we will be wrapping up for this episode right about the 30 minute mark. Perfect. Recover the vessel. Wow, 594 science gained. Perfect. Well, guys, you know what to do. Like if you like the episode, share it, hit on the social media, and I'll see you all in the next one.